I'm going to show you another exercise I like to have you practice from an upright position. I'm going to turn my torso 90 degrees. My left knee will flex. I'm going to try to hold this shaft level as I turn. Now my chest is 90 degrees. My left arm is separated from that point which we departed from is 90 degrees. But now we're going to half extend the right hand, flex the left. Now the right elbow will go into flexion. The left arm will pronate. Now you have the club head separated from the point we departed from 180 degrees while the left arm is only separated 90. When we return the left arm to the impact position, if we didn't uncock our hands, that club would never hit the ball. We've got to double up the speed of the club head to catch up with the left arm at the ball shoulder line. Watch this. I'm going to turn my torso 90 degrees. I'm going to cock my hands 90 degrees. Now for this club head to catch up with the left arm, I've got to accelerate the club head speed twice that of the left arm to return to a square position with that club head. One, two. How fast you bring the club head is determined by how fast you, you rotate the torso because you have to time them so the club head reaches the ball as the left arm reaches the ball. Now we'll do this from a, another view. We'll do it side view, facing just the opposite way. I'm going to turn my chest 90 degrees. My club went 90 degrees. My arms went 90 degrees. I'm going to half extend my right hand, flex my left hand, flex my right elbow, which causes my left arm to pronate. Now the shaft and club head is separated from our starting point, 180 degrees, while the left arm is only separated 90. For us to get back to the, the point from which we started from, the club head must double up its speed of the torso rotation and left arm rotation because the left arm takes the speed of the torso. Now I'm going to return to the point from which I departed from and accelerate the club so it catches up and impact the club head with the left arm at the shoulder ball line. One, two. You get that by unfolding the right elbow, the right wrist, left wrist, rolling the left elbow. My right arm now is extended. Right arm is flexed, it's extended. Left arm is rolled and unrolled. Rolled and unrolled. Very fine exercise. One, one, two, one, two. Now, to make this work, all we have to do is bend to the golf plane.